And finally, uh, let me just give you another example, which is called a single um, transferable vote. This is the hair plan or STV, which is single transferable vote. What does this mean and how does it work? Uh, so the hair plan, well, you don't know who Mr. Hair is, so let's pay attention to the other name. Words matter. So, a single transferable vote. What does this name tell you? It, it tells you that you have how many? One vote, but you can transfer it. How does this work? Well, here's, um, here's the uh, district and it's the ballot. And there are several individual candidates. Individual candidates. So you vote for one, you vote for persons. Each representing a different party. But it's not a single member district, there are several seats. Yeah? Let's say there are four seats coming from this, from this, uh, um, you know, uh, competition. And the single transfer vote, vote works so that you vote for one person, you vote once, rather, but you can, man you can uh, specify your choices. This is my first choice, this is my second choice, this is my third choice. Really? So how does it work? Well, notice that there are four seats coming from this um, uh, district. And let's say there are um, a thousand elect uh, voters in this district who actually vote. Well, for, in order to get the seat, you will have to fill a quota. There needs to be a minimum, right, that gets you one seat, right? Well, a logical minimum would be, let's say, what, 250, right? A quarter of this. You need to get a quarter in order to be one of the people who, are, who, who gets this, uh, this seat. So it's based on quotas. And the quotas are basically, there's a formula, and this is not the exact formula, right? But I'm, I'm trying to get you, get you the, 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 the principle. The principle here. The quota is basically how many votes you one, does one seat need in order to be elected. Right? And if it's four seats and 1,000 voters, a quota would be a quarter, basically. Right? For four seats from 1,000 people, that's a quarter right? that you would need to get to be one of the people uh, uh, chosen here. But, but what if this person here, whom you chose as the first, your first choice, let's say, person A, what if he has already filled his quota? So instead of getting 250 votes, he gets 350 votes. Well, he has already fulfilled his quota, he won his seat, what happened to the other votes? Well, in order not to have wasted votes, that is the essence of this one, and yet maintain the accountability of choosing individuals, his, his, the rest of his votes go to the, to the second choices on his ballot. So the, from 350, he has 100 Votes that he are plus votes, surplus votes. They go to the second choice. So the second choice is helped out to get another seat, and so on, and so on. Now, I don't want you to get bogged down, but the point here, I just wanted to get the principle. The point is that what you get at the end is that you both voted for individuals. There are no wasted votes, because even if your first choice has already been fulfilled, and you basically cast a wasted vote, because that he, he already got his quota, by other voters, you have a second choice. So you, uh, your vote is not wasted. Right? Your vote is not wasted. And, and so on and so on. This is why it's single uh, transferable vote. Uh, and at the end, it kind of produces proportionality because you know all the, the, the persons who are supported by the majority are uh, elected, right? And all the others who are supported by significant significant proportions and even our second choices get to be elected. Without getting bogged down on this, and I'm not going to insist on you knowing this system by heart, this one, STV, but I want you to understand the principle. I want you to understand the principle and to see, actually more than anything, to see the variety of, of uh, electoral systems and how they have a tremendous effect. Now, in the next lecture, we will discuss the other important factor that creates the political spectrum today. And the other important factor are the political ideologies. Political ideologies that are not fixed, that are not the same everywhere, that have developed over time, and that are not, by any chance, conservative versus liberal. That's not, these are not the political ideologies uh, in the world or that uh, you have as choices. Uh, but they're important. 
the variety of political ideologies, because parties tend to align themselves, to, to shape them, and align themselves and give you, give it, uh, offer them up as choices. So today, when you look at the political system, all these things will come into play. Electoral systems will be crucial in determining the number of parties and so on. But then also, um, the, 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 another thing that will help you understand the political life in a country is the uh, ideological spectrum. Because what we want to do is to look at different party systems, meaning what is the party life in different countries, and understand what are the major variations. And for that, electoral systems and ideologies are important. So next lecture is on political ideologies.